Did being in law enforcement affect your family? So, you know, it's, that's always a hard question. You know, I, I was married in the beginning, but I don't necessarily say that law enforcement was what caused the divorce mm -hmm. between my wife and I. Uh, but nonetheless, recognizing that being in law enforcement is more stressful than any other, you know, industry, especially because of the dangers that you face sometimes unknowingly. Today, it's a lot more stressful than it has been ever in the past. Um, but there is a, a challenge, whether it be travel, whether it be work midnights, whether it be, you know, the shift work or, or weekends. So you, you do miss at times family events. You miss spending time with your family at some of the more critical junctures in, in their lives and your lives, right? Um, so it's, it's impactful. And I recognize that over my career, you know, there have been, you know, birthdays that have been missed. There's been family reunions that have been missed. And, and so there is an impact on it. And there's definitely consequences to being in law enforcement that I think, you know, each person bears different weights um, and it affects everybody differently. For me, I'd still say there was an impact and there they had, you know, a, I don't want to call it a negative output because I think that everything that I learned, I took and did the best I could to turn it into a positive and being able to make it a benefit for me. Um, and, and so I don't have any regrets about my, my career. At any level. Okay. Did being in law enforcement, if you can look back at your younger you, did being in law enforcement affect the way that you see people in society? Oh, I mean, look, I talked about it a little bit earlier. Of course, it did. I mean, you know, one of the things you first start traveling and you start seeing other cultures and other countries and experiencing different things. And, you know, the expectation of, of how it is here in the United States, and it's not necessarily the same everywhere that you go. Um, and being able to be open to those changes and being able to say, hey, you know, and respectful of, of the different areas that you visit. It doesn't matter what country it is. And I've been to your, you know, wealthiest nations in the world, and I've been to some of your poorest nations in the world, you know, and how you're able to adapt to those scenarios and still be able to find the benefits and the uniqueness and, 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 and all of those things, I think, has had an effect on me and made me a better person as a result of it. And, you know, I did the best I could to try to meet people as I traveled. And, and sometimes I've created some very good, long lasting relationships with people that have, that are still intact today. And, and I think that that is a benefit of being able to travel and being able to expand your mind and to be able to be more open about, you know, other societies of how they live and how they operate and appreciate the fact that not everything is going to be like it is in the United States or where you grew up. Right. Um, whether it is say you coming from outside the United States and coming into uh, to, to our country, right? So it's being able to be flexible, to understand the differences in culture, to be respectful. Yeah.